Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a damaged iOS device runnable again. Because this program here is for iOS systems and it's a recovery system. You can buy this app for Windows system and of course for Apple too. In this case, I'm using my Windows system here. It's Windows 10. And now we are going to make a troubleshooting of our iOS device. The Tunes Kit iOS System Recovery is an awesome application which can bring back your iOS device back to life. We can recover our iOS or tvOS to a normal with all iOS systems issues repaired efficiently, including iPhone recovery mode. Whoa, for example, white Apple logo, black screen, Apple TV issues, etc. 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 And we can repair 50 plus iOS problems on iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Apple TV with Tunes Kid IAO system recovery we are able to quickly fix any common iOS televisions operation system issues and this um, this all with one application that's really awesome and we can do this by ourselves without seeking for help from Apple technical specialists no matter whatever our iOS device stuck in recovery mode DFU mode white Apple logo or become black blue frozen frozen disabled screen etc this smart iOS repair tool will get us out of the trouble and recover our device back to a normal, easily and efficiently life. For example, if you have your smart, uh, let's go to, the, to to a smartphone. Your your iPhone or iPad uh, has a wide Apple logo. There's only a wide Apple logo. Okay, that means we have to start the Tunes Kid iOS System Recovery app. Then we have to dock our iOS device by using a cable connection with our um, Windows system in this case. Okay, if this is now connected, we are going to start the troubleshooting. For example, you can choose here. The iOS repair is with 30 plus iOS issues. As such as various stack problems, black screen, etc. You can see stack on white Apple logo. You can see stack on black screen, stack in boot, the recovery process, or the iPhone is frozen. Booting, can we start restarting? Oh, that's not good. Or we have an activation error. Uh, it could not be restored an error, or it won't restore or iPhone services. These are only a little bunch of problems which our iPhone or iPad can can have and with this easy device here we can handle this okay we, we we docked our iphone on it and then we can start here we have to select a mode to start repairing the irs system issues we have the standard mode to fix the irs problems such as stack on apple logo black blah 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 and we are repairing the ios and the system won't cause any data loss that means in this case this will be every time the first step you can make a troubleshooting by using tunes kit okay this is number one it's really easy we click next and it will begin the second one is the advanced mode if the standard mode does not make a troubleshooting you can try and use the advanced mode we have to try this mode if our iOS issues cannot be fixed under the standard mode. This is this is the other mode which goes deeper in it and makes a new and brand new iOS um, installation process. We choose this mode to remove the screen lock if we forgot the lock screen passcode. In this case, you can remove, for example, your pa your passcode. If you've forgotten your password, your passcode is the passcode which you entered by a face ID or which you entered by fingerprint system. And if you, you, you've forgotten this password or passcode, you can reset it by using this app, TuneSkid iOS System Recovery. 
the advanced mode will erase all data on our iOS device. Okay, think about this. And of course, there the second thing is you have to ensure that the device has enough power. But the first try every time should be the standard mode. Okay, if you have forgotten your passcode, you have to go advanced mode, okay? Yeah, but in the standard issues, and these are a lot of issues, these are 50 plus iOS problems and iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch, Apple TV problems, which are saved here and can be fixed easily. Then we go to standard mode, okay? Then next. You can see, select the device mode for you want to fix. We have here Apple TV HD, Apple TV, iPhone 8 or later, iPhone 7, 7 Plus or, or another device. So we are now, in this case, I'm going to use here an iPhone 8 or later. So now please follow the steps to put your device into DFU mode. Now the system, the TuneSkid iOS system recovery app will learn us how to come into the DFU mode. The DFU mode is a direct firmware upgrade modus. That, that means we have to enter there by press the volume up button first and quickly press the volume down button. Hold power button until we see the black screen and we do not have to release the button then. This is the hard reset. Press and hold the power button, the volume down button simultaneously for five seconds. Then release the power button and keep holding the volume down button for another five seconds. This brings our smart device, our iPhone, into the DFU mode. So now it's time to go next. And now you can see download firmware package. Please download the latest iOS firmware package before fixing the system. So now we have to confirm the device model. If it is wrong, we have to correct it manually. So in this case, it's an iPhone, an iPhone 11 Pro. Okay, now here you can see which um, serial number it comes. And this you can see um, on the back side, on the back side, you can see it on your iPad, for example, or on the bottom side area, there you can see which um, which device you do have. And of course, here is the iOS 14.6 um, things. So then we cannot download the firmware, um, click copy to download it through the browser. Here in um, two cases are possible. First step, we download it directly with Tunes Kid iOS system recovery. Otherwise, we can uh, copy this download to the browser. The firmware package has been downloaded to computer. This is for if you have the firmware um, package downloaded before. So here it comes how to check the device model. Okay, let's have a look. This is an internet area. Here you can see how you check it. This is a support Apple site. Okay, now download. And now it will cost um, 6.12 gigabit of space. And the, the firmware package will be now downloaded. And this is the brand new download. Um, from Apple servers itself. That means it's the entire uh, um, iOS operation system, which we can use or Tunes Kit iOS system recoverer can use to fix the problems on it. This will cost you maybe a little bit more time because your internet traffic is not so fast, but I think it's about 10 minutes. Then we will go into the next step. So now, as you can see, the firmware has been downloaded successfully. Device type is iPhone 11 Pro. In this case, the firmware version is 14.6. We have to keep our device connected during the fixed process. And now we can start the repair process. And as you can see, it now is going to fix the problems automatically. That means unzipping the firmware. After this, the repair process is um, is is in process after it was 20 minutes you can see the repair is completed and then we have to check our system we have to check that our iPhone is still running again and here you can see it is still running and all data are on my iPhone um, and it is fixed no problem if the system cannot start, there may be some hardware issues. Because of that, or after this, 
we have to contact the Apple Store support, okay? But if this first step does not match, we can go to the advanced mode and perform this in the advanced mode too. And if there is not a solution for the issue, then you can contact the Apple um, support. I hope I, I could help you by using the TuneSkid iOS system recovery system app. We can get our device back to normal without data loss. Worrying about the data loss while doing the fixes to our iOS? No worry. The TuneSkid iOS system recovery won't put us at risk of losing any data on our iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch or Apple TV at all. It will repair the iOS system issues without changing or leaking any of our personal informations on the device. And that's really awesome and it's so easy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.